Hello everyone. The month is October, the season is fall, and the leaves are beginning to fall off the trees. So what better time to take a look at our first modular building with this fall inspired set. Today we have set 10270, The Bookshop, with 2,504 pieces. Taking a quick look at the top of the box, we can see all the pieces in the set. Flipping around back, we can see that this is a very colorful back with a lot of the play features marked out in the set. On the left side of the box, we have two tape seals. Cutting the seals, we can empty the box and see what's inside. Bags of Lego, of course. And we can see that the number of bags go up to seven and two green half base plates. The set has two instruction manuals, one per each building. So two people can build this set at once. Opening the inside of the manuals, we can see that bags one through four go to the bookshop and bags five through eight go with the townhome. We have a total of five minifigures included in the set. And they, of course, are all fall based with their fall style prints. Taking a look on the back, we can see that all five figures do have back printing. However, the lady on the far left may appear that she doesn't at first, but it is a printing. There are no leg printing on any of the figures, and there's only really one weird print in this entire set, and that's the banana on the kid's shirt. That just seems really out of place here. I don't understand the significance to fall, and it's just weird to have a banana shirt, really. Taking a look at the completed set, the set is composed of the Birch Books Bookshop, which looks really great in the nougat color, and I really like the architectural details, the gray running all the way up. It's just, it's very Victorian and such. And Birch Books gets their name from the birch tree that's out front of their shop. Next to Birch Books is the Blue Townhome, I guess you would call it. Now, if you don't like the blue, even though I really do in this set, you could move this on the other side of the bookshop, or you could put another modular building in between the two or just separate them because they are on separate half base plates. In the front, we can see that the old man and the kid are on a ladder trying to rescue the kid's toy airplane. He doesn't look very happy that his plane is up in the tree. And we can see the sidewalk here, which um, has the bookshop lady and Moby Brick. Just outside the bookshop, we can see one of those borrow a book stands, free books for anyone to come and borrow. And to the right, we can see a man and assumingly his wife, he's bringing her flowers. Maybe it's her birthday or he's just trying to be very nice that day. Unfortunately, my set did not come with the 107 plaque on the blue townhome. Let's first take a look at the blue townhome. Spinning it around back, we can see that there is a balcony around back and a door to the main floor and a crawl space door. Removing the first section being the balcony, we can reveal the upstairs bedroom. Turning on the flash so we can see a little bit better. We can see the details of the bedroom and the bed is very intricate and has, it's just a very nice looking bed. You can tell this is an expensive bed. We have a printed element of what seems to be the San Francisco Bay Bridge, maybe? And a nice dresser with a very ornate lamp on top. Removing the upstairs bedroom, we can see the main living space on the first floor. There is, of course, a front door to get into the home with a nice little mat to wipe your feet. There is a coat hanger on the wall, which is holding the hat. And the other two exposed does can hold the umbrella in the set, which the man is currently helping the kid get his airplane out of the tree with. Some other details is that we see another door going down, and we'll look at that in a minute. And there's a nice fireplace. Removing the main living floor, we can see that there is a crawl space in this set. At first, I was thinking this was maybe a basement. However, Lego did not tile off anything or provide any detail here. This is just grass underground. It's a little odd to see the grass with stairs leading up into your house. Like that, that is a stairwell down into your crawl space from the inside of your house with grass underneath of it. There's a mouse trap around front, which took me a little while to figure out what that was. Moving on to Birch Books, which is I think the better building from the exterior, but let's take a look at the interior. We can see around back that there is another balcony 
And there's also three identical green windows, a glass door up top on the balcony, and a green door on the bottom floor. Removing the first section, we can see the upstairs bedroom. Again, a very nice looking bed element that looks very Victorian in nature. However, it's very odd that there is a like gecko in here or a chameleon. That was just an odd thing to see for me, but I do like it. Removing the upstairs bedroom, we can see my favorite part of this set actually, and this is the spiraling green staircase. I think it just looks really good and it's a really cool building technique. Also on this floor, we can see the arched windows, which look great and a nice grandfather clock with a printed tile for the clock piece. There's also a quite large leather black chair recliner and a very nice lamp element with some brass accents. Removing the upstairs, we can see kind of like the fifth little section of the modular building and that's the mezzanine. It does have a minor little bookshelf on it, but otherwise is kind of plain. Removing this section, we can see another bookshelf right underneath of it. It's a really cool building technique on how that's built. And I really like the ornate design in the floor here with the gold yellow and dark orange. There is a cash register and a quite a large bookcase. But overall, I think one of the biggest things is that people feel that this bookshop does not have enough books in it. And there we have it folks, set 10270, the bookshop. This is our first modular building and I like to say that it was a really fun building experience. I do understand why they call it a creator expert because there is some challenging little things here and there, but overall I think anyone can get it done. And I'm very happy to have purchased this and I can't wait to buy the rest of them. This has started a big and long expensive journey. But with that being said, I would rate this set a solid eight out of 10. I think it looks really good and it's the perfect set to be building with your significant other this autumn. With that being said, please remember to like and subscribe and check out the end screen now for some more Lego videos.